Hi everyone, I am Taria De Silva and I am a product developer at Marks & Spencer. I'm a professional dancer, dance fit instructor and I'm the co-founder of TNA Fitness. What I think makes a man a gentleman is definitely the way he treats his friends, family and especially how he treats women. So I would think that a gentleman needs to possess the qualities of being respectful towards others and putting others' needs ahead of theirs. I think those are two qualities that a gentleman would possess. What are the makings of a true gentleman? Certainly not about the flawless craftsmanship of perfectly matched seams, a symmetrical crisp collar, premium buttons or the, the 16 stitches per inch around the cuffs. No, being a gentleman is not something you do for the world, but something that's found within you. Emerald, the gentleman's instinct, the leader in menswear. No, he is, I definitely do believe he is a gentleman. He's Spanish, Alberto, I met him in the UK. And what really caught me about his characteristic is that he really accepts everyone for whom they are. And he respects them and takes them as they are without expecting anything in return. Aside, I do believe that a man who takes care of himself um, means that, uh, you know, he cares about how he looks. So you need to first love yourself in order to love others. So it is a good quality to have. You will definitely look suave, but maybe that doesn't necessarily mean you're a gentleman, but you look good. His hair, that is the first thing I'll notice, his hair. So I think would look good on a man, that's actually a very broad question because it's quite personal. Every man has his own style. I'm sure most men out there are going to agree with me. But if I had to pick just one clothing item, I think like a good tailored blazer, you just, you can't go wrong with that. I think anyone in a good tailored blazer will look nice. Okay, again, follower of trends. Of course, I work in the fashion industry. But having said that, I don't think that men or women need to follow certain trends. They need to dress according to what looks good on them. So for Sri Lankan men, I know we can't have men walking in blazers all day because we don't have seasons. They have to consider the heat. So they can't be dressed like that all the time. But if they look good in the piece of clothing they wear and if they carry themselves, then that works. If you're Sri Lankan, you want to wear a sarong, go ahead and make it work. So I, I truly believe, um, follow trends, that's okay. But whatever looks good on you is, is what you need to be wearing. Top three gentlemen in, in my little world or how I see it, I would say number one, my dad. Chandra De Silva, okay, and I may be biased, but oh hey. Number two, I'd say uh, Shalin Balasude. He's always well dressed and well groomed and looking suave at all times. And number three, I'd say uh, Deepak. So suave, such a gentleman, so well dressed. So yeah, there's my top three. Whatever works for you. I can't say that I prefer well-groomed or a little rough around the edges because if you can carry that off or if a man can carry that off, then good for them. So whichever, I don't have a preference. Definitely, yay. I love a man that accessorizes. Um, no, definitely what looks good on you because it doesn't matter if you're wearing some really famous brand from head to toe if it doesn't suit you. So good fit. Mm -hmm. 
again it's so personal to the gentleman or man so um of course i like i like it when guys dress up formally it always makes them look good and smart but whichever suits them so again i don't have a preference there either